While you were sleeping, billionaires were made with Shiba Inu. And yes, you've heard it right. Billionaires with a B. They are unstoppable and moving towards their goal of becoming trillionaires. I understand it is hard to believe. Like, how is that even possible? Even Elon Musk is not a trillionaire. But hear me out first. By the end of this video, you will understand my point. Massive news are out there. Direct investment in individual cryptocurrencies may not fit the risk profile of these investors. Now, when we understand that this rumor is just a FUD here, something interesting. When Bitcoin ETF gets approved, it will allow ETF companies to focus on other altcoins, such as Shiba Inu, for example. Once the first crypto ETF gets approved, they will know exactly what's required from them to put any other crypto ETF on the stock exchange. The Shiba Inu cryptocurrency burning tracker witnessed a significant surge, or as Shiba Army calls it, a tsunami. As the Shibarium development team disclosed the burning of over 8 billion Shiba tokens valued at over $76,000 during the recorded transaction time, this move occurred shortly after Shibarium experienced a remarkable increase in daily transactions. Just yesterday, a total of almost 8 million transfers took place, generating substantial trading fees in Bone Token. Since Bone plays a role as a gas token, or the token you pay the fee with while making transactions on Shibarium, if you remember. As outlined in the latest edition of Shiba Magazine, the 50,000 accumulated bone was exchanged for the main token, leading to a substantial burn transaction. The heightened burning activity coincides with the ongoing SRC-20 token minting process, with the Shiba Inu community anticipating a long-term solution to sustain the burning rate of the K9 coin. More information on SRC-20 token minting process with all explanations is coming soon on this channel, so make sure to subscribe. If you watched my previous video, you should remember that in a recent official blog post, Shibarium developer introduced an enhanced Shiba Inu burning mechanism scheduled to go live in January 2024. This dual Shiba Inu burning system incorporates manual and automatic modes. In the manual mode, the deployer's wallet oversees the token burning process, a phase yet to be synchronized with on chain validators and node operators. A lot of difficult terms, but I will get to that in one of my next videos for sure. On the other hand, the automatic mode executes Shiba burns according to predefined rules, ensuring fairness and efficiency for crypto enthusiasts as trading fees contribute to Shiba burns. The Shiba Inu burning mechanism is positioned to be a crucial element of Shibarium's financial ecosystem. These massive developments in the Shiba Inu ecosystem remind me of one of the huge crypto whales that made fortune on Shiba Inu. On a social media platform known as XE, one of the users shared news about an unidentified cryptocurrency trader who earned a significant $1.6 billion over the span of a year by trading Ethereum and Shiba. Inu.to understand what won. Six billion actually is. Here's a quick example. If you were to earn $1 per second, which is 3,600 per hour, it would take you over 50 years to reach 1.6 billion. This time frame emphasizes the vastness of the number when expressed in the context of time, underscoring the significant duration it represents. The post highlighted the trader's skill in identifying cryptocurrencies with much lower market caps, resulting in an astonishing growth of 3 million percent in his crypto portfolio. While achieving a 3 million percent growth by trading low-cap cryptocurrencies may appear incredibly attractive, 
it's essential to recognize that this approach comes with significant risks. Trading in low-cap coins can be highly volatile and speculative. While some individuals may experience substantial gains, many others face the harsh reality of losing their invested funds. Low-cap coins tend to have smaller market capitalizations, making them susceptible to rapid price fluctuations influenced by market sentiment, liquidity issues, and a lack of regulatory oversight. This whale wasn't stupid to rely on just one highly risky strategy. He also traded some major crypto coins like Ethereum and Shiba Inu. Currently, the trader holds the largest portion of his portfolio in Ethereum, valued over $400 million and almost $380 million worth of Shiba Inu. And all of that is for a reason. Crypto ETFs are coming. If you've watched my previous videos, you should already understand that cryptocurrency exchange traded funds or ETFs have the potential to play a pivotal role in reshaping the crypto market. When crypto ETF gets approved, it could attract a significant influx of institutional and retail money into the cryptocurrency market as it provides a more accessible and regulated way for large institutional investors to gain exposure to crypto, potentially driving up its price. You should understand that these institutional investors are organizations that invest on behalf of others, typically managing large sums of money. These entities include pension funds, mutual funds, insurance companies, hedge funds, banks, and other financial institutions. In simple terms, big players. There are lots of discussions about the Bitcoin ETF on the internet. But while people focus only on Bitcoin, they completely miss the whole point. If approved, crypto ETFs will not be limited to Bitcoin only. The Bitcoin ETF is just the beginning. The concern that currently got widespread among crypto community is following. What if these institutional investors or big players are not interested in crypto? Well, that makes sense. Because why would they wait for an ETF to get approved to invest in cryptocurrency when they simply can go and invest using Coinbase or Binance? But this is where they are wrong and wrong completely. Institutional investors encounter obstacles when attempting to invest in cryptocurrencies directly through platforms like Binance or Coinbase, particularly before the approval of crypto exchange traded funds or EFs. Furthermore, institutional investors typically follow diversified and risk-managed investment strategies, which may not align with the limited investment options available in the crypto market before the approval of ETFs. So the speed of crypto ETFs getting approved might be very fast. Even though Bitcoin ETF is not approved yet, it was just found that BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, secured $100,000 in initial funding from an undisclosed investor for its spot Bitcoin ETF. That's very interesting. People are already investing in Bitcoin ETF even though it is not yet approved, .it signals that the interest is huge. This news completely destroys the silly question from crypto rookies that we discussed a couple of minutes ago. If you remember, the question was, what if these institutional investors or big players are not interested in crypto? So do you feel bullish now? Comment down below. And speaking of people with money, Here's something very interesting. The statistics provided show the distribution of billionaires under 50 years old across different industries. Notably, the two largest sectors are technology and banking finance. 
the synergy between these sectors and the crypto space underscores a broader trend, the acknowledgement of blockchain and digital assets as transformative forces. As technology continues to evolve, the interplay between the technology and banking finance sectors with cryptocurrencies suggests that digital innovation is becoming integral to reshaping the future of finance. This alignment points towards a potential bright future for cryptocurrencies, not just as speculative assets, but as technologies that could redefine how we think about and engage with money, transactions, and financial services. What do you think about it? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion on that. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section.